The Simpsons is a show that most of us grew up on and it's still going for over 3 decades. With such a long run there has been many predictions or supposed predictions of real life events that have appeared in the show. In this episode I'll be looking at 5 surprising times that the Simpsons has predicted the future. Welcome to another FTD news episode my name is Leroy Kenton and before I get into these predictions I want to know do you believe that time travel actually exists? And I'll get into why I asked that at the end of this episode so make sure you watch all the way till the end. Starting at number 5 we have Donald Trump for president. Donald Trump's presidency was predicted years ago in an episode titled Bart to the future and Lisa becomes president after Donald Trump apparently ruined the economy. The Simpsons writers predicted that Donald Trump would become the president way back in the year 2000 and some say that even Lisa had a close resemblance to Hillary Clinton who ran for president against Donald Trump and Lisa had become the first female president of the United States. Now in the episode Lisa Simpson says as you know we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump and then she's informed that he actually bankrupt the country. As you know we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke. Number 4 brings us the Ebola outbreak. Now this came in season 9 episode 3 and some people say that yes the Simpsons did in fact predict the 2014 outbreak of Ebola 17 years before it actually happened. In the episode titled Lisa's Sacks, the mother Marge suggests that Bart who's sick read a book called Curious George and the Ebola Virus. Now the virus wasn't widespread back in the 1990s but years later that all changed and Ebola was first discovered in the year 1976 and you know this latest Ebola outbreak was the worst yet. Now we have Disney purchasing Fox and this came in an episode titled When You Dish Upon a Star and that aired in 1998. Ron Howard and Brian Grazer produce a script that Homer pitched to them and the script is produced by 20th Century Fox and in the episode you'll see that on the sign in the front of the studio's headquarters it shows a line that says a division of Walt Disney Company. Fast forward nearly 20 years later serious negotiations about Disney purchasing Fox go back to late 2017 but it wasn't until March 20th of 2019 that Disney officially purchased 21st Century Fox for over 70 billion dollars and there Disney acquired Fox's film studio 20th Century Fox in addition to a large portion of its TV shows which include The Simpsons. There's also the horse meat scandal that was predicted by The Simpsons. So back in 1994 there's an episode called Sweet Seymour Skinner's Badass Song and Principal Skinner is actually ousted from his seat after angering the superintendent. Unnoticed by his inspection and the fact that the lunch lady Doris prefers to prepare school lunches using giant tubs of horse parts. Again fast forward nearly 20 years in 2013 several food producers in the countries of UK, Sweden and France were actually found to be distributing frozen burgers and other products that contained horse meat inside of them. Then at number 1 we have the September 11th 2001 prediction and that was predicted in 1997 and it happened in the year 2001. In the episode titled The City of New York vs Homer Simpson there is a scene that seems to allude to the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Centers in New York City. Now there is a scene where you can see a brochure that says New York at $9 a day and behind the 9 there is the Twin Towers and it looks like actually 9-11 is spelt out. Now in 2010 Bill Oakley who is an executive producer on the show at the time told the New York Observer $9 was picked as a comical cheap fare he says. He then added I will grant that it's eerie given that it's the only episode of any series ever that had an entire act of World Trade Center jokes. And you know what just for fun I'll throw a bonus one in there. World War 3. Okay so this was in the 16th Simpsons short and originally aired 
on The Tracy Ullman Show back on November 22nd, 1987. Edward Starr's 1970 hit War is playing in the background during this episode. And here we see Homer Simpson. He wakes up everybody in the house while they're sleeping and he tells them it's World War III and the bombs are being dropped everywhere. So of course everybody frantically gets up and they go to the bomb shelter real quick. Now, as you know, World War III at the time of filming this episode has not happened yet, but it was very fascinating when 2020 came and all these memes about World War III was actually like spreading all over the internet. And people were like, it's okay guys, it's never gonna happen because Simpsons hadn't predicted it yet. Well, to everybody's surprise, yes, the Simpsons did mention that World War III was happening. So does it mean that it will actually happen one day given the Simpsons track record of predicting real life events? Hmm. Guess we just have to wait and see. Wake up everybody! It's World War Three. Ah! Quick! Down to the fallout shelter. The bombs are dropping. All right, guys, so that's it for the 10 surprising times that Simpsons predicted the future. Now, a lot of people believe, especially conspiracy theorists, believe that Matt Groening, who's a Simpsons creator, is believed to be a time traveler, that he sees events in the future and then puts them in the show. What do you guys think about this conspiracy and all of that? Sound off down below in the comment section. I know there's a whole lot of conversation going on. I wanna know everything. And if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that you can check out right beside me right here. Definitely a fascinating one. I'm glad to be doing these episodes again, so keep on tuning in right here to FTD News for the most unbelievable stories, unbelievable episodes about the most unbelievable things ever. There's a lot of unbelievable there. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go work on some more videos later.